see our Eastern Conference champions. They are headed to MLS Cup for the third time in four years. A familiar foe awaits for Greg Fanny's team, this time on enemy territory. This group here is, is, is resilient, that they find ways, they back each other up there. It's an extremely deep squad. It's difficult to pick an 11, and th that's why this team spirit is, is something I've never really seen before. It, it's special both on and off the field. Great vibes around this Toronto FC team. They're loose, much looser than a home MLS Cup where there's different demands asked of the players. I haven't seen this group this loose for a long time. It's an incredible stage. It's going to be loud. There's going to be a strong Toronto contingent. They're already rolling into town, wearing their TFC red, a special atmosphere, and what could be yet another special day for Toronto FC. The feel was, was good. All these trips, going to New York, going to Atlanta, going to Seattle, really brought some together. Trusted every one of us uh, to, be, to be ready come D-Day. Everyone was confident. It was not easy to get to that point, and the only reason we were there was, was because of the guys in that locker room. We have a group of guys that have, have been there before, that have played in, in games like that, that have played, played in finals. The preparation in every way was really good. I think we stepped on the field uh, knowing exactly what we needed to be about on the day to give ourselves a chance to win. At some point in July, we knew we had to face our responsibilities and that if we want, really wanted an exciting second part of the season, we needed to, to get our shit together. This is, this is a good group. There's no two ways about it. It's a group that gets along with each other. Um, I think it's a group that is very comfortable in its own skin. Sometimes the way things seem are because that's the way they are and, you know, sometimes it's a show, but this wasn't a show. I think guys really cared for each other and, and do care for each other. They aren't just teammates, but they're friends off the field, and that's really special. When you have a team like that, I think that's what gets you, you know, late goals, and it gets you these shutouts, and it allows you to go into tough places and get results. And that, that doesn't come simple if you don't have a good, strong connection within a group. We all get along and, and there's real genuine uh, affection and respect for each other, but it's it's not it's not forced and, and guys feel like they can come in every day and be themselves and and you know that part is you don't get that everywhere. Wow, Drew, what a feeling. That base to have those connections and that camaraderie goes a long way. Collectively, when you're able to create something where everybody feels a part of it, where everybody buys in, where everybody feels responsible for the outcome, then I think that's when you get guys complete personalities, total commitment. Everybody stepped up in, in different ways, but the intensity and the, and the commitment that this team had was unbelievable and still gives me goosebumps. Just seeing guys putting that extra energy, that extra hunger, that extra determination. You're the better person than you, my friend. I swear, your energy, my friend, is the best, all right? You're not changing. We became a real team, I think, and with with a real mindset, which is why we had the run we went on and, and were able to make it to MLS Cup final. Go time, huh? We sacrifice for each other, we love.
die for each one on the field. I can sacrifice more to execute that. Love you guys. The first 55 or 60 minutes, we we played we played really well. You always know that finals are going to be tight, and it's going to take a little bit of skill, a little bit of magic, a deflection, a break, something to something to kind of tilt the bar in your favor. We trusted each other. We we knew we knew we had a game plan to follow. We trusted Greg. We had faith in every single player. Whoever was going to step on the field was going to do their job. We felt really good. We felt really good, and yeah, I think everyone can be proud to on how we we played, but we didn't win. We couldn't quite make the make the play. We didn't we didn't get the the, the break that sometimes you do, and and they did. And, and obviously, then at that point, when you go down, the the game changes, and you've got to try to uh, react and try to push things. Yes, we can be happy that we showed up and we played beautiful football, but I want to win. Everyone wants to win. No one wants to leave that field a loser, and, and unfortunately, that's what happened this time. Disappointing to not be able to, to finish the job, to not be able to, to, to be the team standing up there holding up that trophy, but we're going to use it in the right way. I can still be proud that, you know, I represented the team well. I did what I could for my teammates. And and that day we came up short. So if, you know, I'm not going to be worrying about myself. I'd rather go over and, you know, make sure my teammate, I can give him some words and, you know, just make sure he's okay. It doesn't take away the, the pride in in everything that we've done. It doesn't take away the pride in in what this group is all about. When you challenge people to give everything they have to something, when you challenge people to um, spill their guts on the field, to, to compete at the highest level, when they do that, you have to then make sure that you let them know how, how proud you are, how proud you were to do it with them. That part is special. You, you can try to explain that to people on the outside. I don't know. I don't know how easy it is for for everybody to understand. Whatever an individual's motivations are, to my mind, this is the most important. Building something and having something to look back to and be proud of, and sharing something special with your teammate, with your team, with your club. This year will not be remembered as an MLS Cup winning team, but. People will remember this team. You know, uh, coming out of my season in France, so it was basically 18 months in a row for me. But it be, it's been a roller coaster, but in a good way with the with the right amount of thrill and um, just the feeling that we were able to, to overcome quite some situations and I think there's pride in that. Since arriving in mid-July, uh, I think it's been amazing. Uh, for me, it's, it's felt like one, like another Mexican season, <laughs> you know? Uh, it was short. It went by so fast. Uh, by the time you knew it, you're you're you were playing, and you know you made the playoffs. And then a couple weeks later, you're in the MLS Cup final. So for me, it was incredible. I can't wait for preseason already. You know, it's. Uh, I know I need to rest, but at the same time, it's it's itching already. It's itching because yes, uh, I didn't want it to stop. You know, I didn't want it to stop. I 
I'd gladly go back on the field with these guys and just look for a new challenge. We felt one victory close to having the biggest turnaround in probably MLS history. So it brings a lot of frustration, but also a lot of hope and confidence in what's to, to come up next. When you have a taste of that success like we have over the last few years, it becomes it becomes an obsession, and, and every person who feels that, who tastes that, every person wants more. We'll use the off-season in the right way. Everybody's got to rest, recover mentally and physically, but then from, from day one next year, we, we've got to be ready to go for it, to work, to give every, everything we can to give ourselves more, more chances, more opportunities for, for big success.